Hello, welcome to Spinnaker training series. In this video, we're going to see how to install Spinnaker. Although there are multiple Spinnaker installation methods available, as for the demo, we're going to see local Debian method installation. For that, there are some prerequisites to have your Spinnaker on your local machine. You should be having working Oracle VirtualBox, Vagrant, and Git installed on your machine. Your machine should have minimum 8 GB or more RAM with two or more CPUs and minimum 40 GB of disk capacity available. I had made some scripts and I have uploaded them in our Opsimex repository which can be downloaded from the URL. Simply clone that URL and navigate to that folder and run the command called vagrant up. This command will take minimum 25 minutes to install and up your spinnaker, depend upon your speed of internet and the processing capacity. So I'm going to open that my favorite terminal, so which is Telix. Uh, let me maximize this terminal so you guys can uh, see what I'm typing. Simply clone this URL. And I'm going to clone this on my desktop, home Ashwat to Saru. So git clone and the URL enter. After cloning that URL, navigate to that folder and vagrant directory. Run the command call vagrant up. I'm not hitting enter right now. I'm going to open the virtual box and show you there are no running instances on my machine. So upon clicking enter, you can see after some time, my machine start to load Ubuntu based machine and after loading Ubuntu, you can see the Spinnaker will be installed. I'm going to pass the video from here and once the Spinnaker is booted, I'll resume it. While the script runs and executes in the background, let me explain you what exactly the script does. So I'm in the GitHub URL. So uh, by default, when you run the command called vagrant up, it reads this file. So here I mentioned about Ubuntu 18.4 needs to be downloaded. And after downloading, it will assign, vagrant will assign an IP of 192.168.33.10 and that will assign 8 GB and 4 CPU and the name will be like Opsimex Spinnaker. Once the server is built, it will call a file called Opsimex install spinnaker.sh which is available in the same directory here. So this file will automatically downloads and install on the machine. So it requires uh, some swap file. So uh, the swap file will be created and attached it to the um, running virtual box instance. And then it is uh, installing the version Spinnaker 1.17.6. As you can see here, I've mentioned 1.17.6 Spinnaker. And for Spinnaker, we require Halyard. So the Halyard is installed using the curl command. And then uh, it will be installed using install halyard.asset script. And also it requires a Docker and uh, Minio, so it is running Docker and Minio. Once all the basic requirements are done, it will uh, deploy the um, Spinnaker using uh, HAL deploy apply. So this command will deploy the Spinnaker inside it. And once the Spinnaker is deployed, it will overwrite the URL to access it for gate and deck. So here, the URL for UI is 192.168.33.10 colon 9000 so this port has been seen in the previous video which will have a different ports for each services so this is for gate and this is for deck and then finally it will restart all the services and redis and then you can have the uh, spinnaker will be up and running let me see still uh, the script is running i'll pass the video once again and uh, resume it back when the spinnaker installs successfully Great, uh, now uh, we have successfully installed Spinnaker and the script 
itself shows that uh, Spinnaker can be connected using this URL. I'm going to copy this URL, uh, open your browser, and uh, paste. Hit enter. There you go. Spinnaker loads, and uh, we have seen that we have installed uh, 1.17.6. Yes, we have installed 1.17.6. There is nothing much you can do here on this plain dashboard but also this will trigger some of the users why it doesn't ask me any username and password so uh, which i will be addressing it in the next video how we can have an uh, 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 integration with a github so when a spinnaker is installed it will redirect you to log in with your github account and show you how it is done so see you on the next video so thanks much for watching